Breaking Bad meets The Wire, The Infiltrator. The Infiltrator. So The Infiltrator is an upcoming crime drama. It comes out this Wednesday. It stars Brian Cranston and crew. And it's this movie good. But I'm going to say, God, this movie was a really enjoyable movie in parts. I will say that this is one of those movies that, like I said, it's Breaking Bad meets The Wire. Just crunched into a two-hour movie. It's one of those crime dramas you could watch and everything. You would appreciate more if it were an HBO series. Breaking Bad season one and just trying to condense it into a two-hour movie. You'll get the gist of it, but there will be a lot of things just like, I can see things being cut out, which things fleshed out more. But overall, I get the gist of a pretty entertaining movie if this is your cup of tea. With that being said, look into the pros and cons, but I believe that The Infiltrator it comes out this Wednesday. If you are into this type of crime, drama, drug lord type type of shit, then I suggest you go check out this movie this Wednesday. Here's why. First of all, I'm adding in the movie, Brian Cranston. He's just... This, this is Brian Cranston. He needs no introduction at this point. Wait, because he's just awesome at everything he does, man. Just pretty much Brian Cranston just gets in front of the camera just like, yeah... I just like acting, so give me an Oscar. The way he gets so wrapped up or so deep into these roles, just pretty much can take any character and just make him like the most flushed out, just deep, relatable character that you've just seen on screen. Brian Cranston is just that like a master. There is a lot of people in this movie, so much so that it's like kind of hard to really name out everybody because there's so many people. That's why I say it. it would be better off if this movie was like a series. Because if it were a series, you could have each episode focus on more and more different people to have them go back between different people and everything. You'd be able to follow everybody's characters more better. And so Overall, the person you need to know in this movie, Brian Cranston, killed it, so that's what you need to know. Now, the plot in the movie. The plot in the movie is more or less is about Brian Cranston's character. He's an FBI undercover FBI agent. And based off true story, he goes undercover to try to pretty much bust the biggest cartel drug bust that was ever done in the 80s. You know, the 80s, that was a good time for, you know, drugs and sex and cocaine and illegal shit. And that all goes down in this movie. But then we see it all just coming to a head and just see how it all develops and everything. It's like he is in deep, like, Deep. Like I said, you've seen The Wire Breaking Bad, you know how deep Brad Kirk can get in these type of roles, but these type of characters, it gets pretty deep. Pros in the movie, like I said, if you are into this type of stuff, you will find enjoyment in it, you know? And the characters are well-rounded for the two hours that you have with them, but like I said, if you want the people that just like, I wish there was more time to develop on this character, which there was more of this show, which there was more of that show, I want to see more of Brad Kirk to do this thing, more Brad Kirk to interact with that thing, and those things are going to be cut out because it's a two-hour movie, though they can't like explain everything in this course of two hours. But like I said, this movie would benefit more if it were an HBO series or a sh series on Showtime or something. Not too many cons in the movie, I'll say more or less of the fact that you've kind of seen this movie before in the fact that this movie does have a target audience. And the movie's not for the masses. It's not for everybody. And everything in the movie is two hours plus long, so it is kind of on the long side. And the movie is a slow burn, so it's not going to be a movie that's instantly like, yeah, shit happens like right away. And no, it takes time to develop the character, develop Brian Cranston's character, develop, you know, his mission and everything things to see him go down this deep dark rabbit hole of things he's doing an underground drug racketeer to bust the biggest drug racketeer ever and that's pretty much all i got for you guys more or less today you the infiltrator it was a pretty entertaining movie for what it was brian crash that killed the movie as always is brian crash come on the only real note i could give you going to this movie just know that when you walk out of it you're going to be like yeah a lot of things were not explained all the characters weren't fleshed out a lot more which i could get a better relationship with these characters but i just can't because the movie's not long enough to establish all the characters so again you walk on movies just being like you know what this definitely could be an hbo series i could see it that being said i'm gonna say that the infiltrator is indeed a six out of ten which is a good movie if you're red box said the infiltrator it comes out this Wednesday. you're gonna go see it what do you think about the movie put in the comments down. let me know just talk about the infiltrator if this is your type of shit go get this movie and enjoy it